a gruff but trustworthy partner, a reliable mechanic. You know, Al, you're really blessed with good people around you. Nine, I think the same goes for you. I think so too. And we are back. <clears throat> so we had a bit of a hiatus there, brief break for um, Evo, because I one, I didn't want to compete with that, and two, I wanted to watch a, a lot of the things that were streaming when I was would be normally doing the stream. The guilty for those who missed it, the Guilty Gear Grand Final was fantastic. The Tekken Grand Final was amazing. That's a grand final. The Tekken tournament as a whole was amazing. And even if you're maybe not into Street Fighter, check out the Street Fighter V grand final if you haven't watched those already. Um, yeah, I didn't want to compete with that. So... Anywho. A little bit of quick business before I get started. Um, so, I'm going to be starting a new job within two, one to two weeks of the stream. Um, so, what this is going to mean is that once, is so that I'm going to still tr possibly try to get do some, uh, streams... Once I start working, but I obviously can't make, guarantee, make a guarantee that I'll um, be able to consistently do them on Wednesday. I'm still going to do the Sunday streams no matter what. Other than that, um, for the Wednesday streams, if I don't continue doing Super Robot Wars V for the Wednesday streams, I'll probably move on to something that I can do in more bite-sized chunks. I may not archive those, I may do something where it's like uh, either a racing game or something like um, Watch Dogs or Saints Row, where there's licensed music that would cause issues on YouTube, but I'll still try to do some streams. Either that, or I might do my wizardry streams then, um, do uh, Wizardry or Beautiful Joe on those nights. It's like I do in more bite-sized chunks. All right, so we took care of suborders last time. So we are good to go. We are now rejoining our forces, and I just get the get the um be, uh, <laughs> jumped to had the gun jumped there by a cat leaping on my lap. <laughs> my apologies. You look a mess, Play 12. How could you not master the Banshee? I won't fail to complete the mission next time. Poor Play 12. Just because you're the youngest of 12 sisters, you've been thrust into real combat before you're truly ready. That's enough. In all the conflicts following the One Year War, you alone among your 12 sisters were awakened experimentally from cryosleep. Um. Okay. I mean, there's, there's also Play 1 and Play 2 running around, and the events, uh, well, the events of, um, Gundam Double Zeta certainly still happen, so, I mean, obviously she's lying, but she's lying in an obviously disprovable manner. Miserably defeated, you've been living in cruel hardship ever since, that's fair. While your sisters sleep, only you have been subjected to aging and hardship. I, I get the impression that, um... I mean, from what I saw good, from, from Gunmy Unicorn, I got the impression that possibly play... Uh, it wasn't that... Play 3 through 11 weren't thought out as well, but more play 3 through 11 were thought out and were also killed in action. I said that's enough! And of course, Martha could be lying. 
That's enough, Aunt Martha. She said she would succeed in her next mission. Keep quiet, Alberto. I am her master. I alone am the one who can give her orders. Dare talk back to me? I... I apologize. Understand this, Alberto. You are nothing more than my agency. I think you mean agent, but anyway. I will not let you insult master. Brilliant. Master. Okay, very well, if that's the way you two feel. I'll leave Play 12 in your care. Now with Leonard seriously injured, I have to return to space to see to the plan. With the Malgman movement at a complete halt, this would be a good time for you to find what we've discussed. I understand. Take care. And Alberto? Your duty is to finish training that doll post-haste. Concentrate solely on that. And Martha, preservation of authority and the ability to not think of... Of others as people. That is exactly how the man you hate thinks. Master? Mother, like this pretend relationship she has with me, where she pretends to be fond of me. Radio, I want to save you. <laughs> yeah, uh, Alberto is most likely, has been voted most likely to become a mole for the good guys in high school. Okay, so were they talking cutesy in the original Japanese dialogue, or is this actually an attempt at localization? Or a, localiza a flourish of translation? How many people worked on this? Because you, you get these weird instances of typos fitting through and autocorrect errors that are clearly, or, or word choice errors that are clearly from a person who's not the best English speaker, but then you get this, which is clearly also meant to be a localization or translation first. Hmm, <clears throat> anyway. Sasuke, I wub you. Me too, I wub you too. Sa Sergeant Weber, the first line is, Sasuke, I love you. Is that true, Nine? I wouldn't know. <laughs> she says, beat red. Don't be stingy, Nine. Give me something. Something to tease Sasuke with. How did Konami reply? Do it in a cute, girly voice, Nine. Oh. Oh, brother. That's enough, Kurtz. I won't allow you to sexually harass Nine like that, or for that matter, use Nine as an accessory to your harassment, teasing, and bullying of Sasuke after he's returned from a long mission. You're being unfair, Satoshi. It was hiring to satisfy my search for knowledge. It was hardly sexual harassment. Oh, I see. Um. Don't take that at face value, Chateau. I'm deeply hurt. I apologize, Kurtz. Don't apologize. Damn it, this game's writing sometimes. No problem. Why don't you do it? Give me a I give me an I love you. Stop it. You're making both Nine and Chateau uncomfortable. You Terrans are really, really are quite tactless. He's just a, tr he's just a troublemaker, and a perv, and a troublemaker. Oh, look who's talking! You have about the same level of tact as he does. Are you serious, Mori? You probably didn't realize it, but you're not the most tactful guy. No, no, it's not that he's not tactful. It's that he's dense. In what way? <laughs> I'll let you figure that out, out for yourself. Yeah, that, that, that that's dense, not lack, lacking in tact. There's a difference. Um, maybe thick-headed would be a term that would work well for both of them. I'm not sure I understand you people at all. Not fret over it, Melda. Let's say you and I go off together and leave these people to themselves. That would be sexual harassment. Probably best to get Sergeant Mao's permission first. She's over there glaring at us. Her expression for be glaring bayonets. Because she's a Marine. Wow, she looks like a pack of trouble. Only if you bring it upon yourself. Like you do all the time. Sis, it seems that Akira has already forgotten about Kodai. 
feelings for Kodai were probably more akin to admiration than love, so she probably wasn't overly heartbroken. That's a pretty deep analysis. I guess. What are you whispering about, Jatose? Nothing. No need to get so flustered, then. Akira, I have a feeling it won't be long before you find someone good. And for you, too, sis. Uh, yeah. No doubt Sasuke will continue chasing Kaname. Moreover, Sasuke's fight against the Amalgam seems to stretch beyond his duties to Mithril. If so, there's much to consider. What's the matter, Banagher? Why the face? Ah, uh, Tobia. Let me see if I can guess. You're thinking about Audrey, aren't you? How'd you guess? You don't have to be a new type to see it. I could tell as well. Me too! Me three! I believe the correct expression in their play is... AND MY AXE! But that would actually be an expression from one of the characters from Cross Angie, and we're not on with them right now. I'll have to concede to, all, to you all then. But Audrey isn't the only person I'd like to see. Meridia is in my thoughts as well. We all feel the same. I'm not sure how or why, but I have a feeling that she is one of our sisters. <clears throat> I felt that the first we met play emotions similar to nostalgia and frustration. I felt them in Meridia as well. Cheer up, you two. We'll work together to rescue Meridia. Panager. There's also a possibility that she could be our enemy as well, working with Neo Zeon. But despite being the pilot of the Black Unicorn, I don't think it's Meridia's true intention to harm us. Probably influenced by some kind of mental control. After Hathaway and I had been captured by Neo Zeon, I met some people who were concerned about Meridia. As overcome as I with the sensation of caring for of someone caring very much for another, and I came to understand that they were as much, just as human as I. I want to I want to help that person. Following these kind of emotions will bring this war to an end. Seems I underestimated you, Banneker. Uh, uh, underestimated? Until now, I didn't think you were the dependable type, but now I can see that you understand what needs to be done. I did you perform well in our recent battle, yet you've impressed me with your thoughts as well. Wow, Takuya, you haven't been shown it. You haven't been played any part in the game for like forever. How could you say that, Tobias? And Banneker's hard work and efforts been apparent? I agree. He's used the unicorn to save Londo Bell in a pinch innumerable times. Yeah. You, wow, you, you two just popped up out of the blue. I feel like the, like their arrival should be um, accompanied by special art of all the rest of the characters going, ah, characters who'd vanished from the narrative previously, but Assistant Hayate, the combat butler. Well, maybe as far as those space pirate Toby is concerned, those efforts just don't count. Space pirate? Or perhaps that skull design on your crossbone Gundam isn't just a fashion statement? The skull is there for ambiance, but I was indeed a space pirate. Well, why you... Why well, you may be reevaluating me, I now see you in a different light as well, Tobia. That's because there's no end to Tobia's heroic tales, of which the story of how he recaptured Bernadette is not one to miss. What happens? That's a story I need to hear. Uh, that's that's quite enough, Kincaid. Ah, Banneger, there you are. Who, me? Turn the Nahal Argama immediately. There's a communique addressed to you from someone named Alberto. Alberto. That's great, Banneger. It's perfect chance to ask about Meridia. Yeah. Our mole is reporting in. Been a while, Banneger links. Alberto, we ran into Meridia and Dakar. Alberto, we ran into Meridia and Dakar. Yes, I'm aware. That's why I contacted you. So then, are you making behind making Meridia the pilot of the Black Unicorn? I'm just going to tell you her whereabouts. What are you after? Once you heard the information, decided for yourself that... Decided for yourself... Uh, decide for yourself, yourselves what the best course of action is. Okay. If you think it's a trap, so be it. But it's not the only valuable information I have for you. You heard of a girl who goes by the name of Audrey Byrne? Audrey! That's pronounced Moron, by the way. You're not the only person for whoever you, anyone watching the archive, you're not the first person to, to make that joke.
And your father and his men are headed for space. I see. You don't seem very interested in accompanying them. I was powerless to do anything. Even after a meeting with Chairman Ronan Marcenas, I was unable to effect change. Considering the location of the compound, this is actually a bit I was missed out on on Gundam Unicorn. They weren't clear at the geography of where Chairman Marcenas is, uh, was based out of. But I guess he's actually meant to be Spanish. Not Hispanic, but or Mexican, but Spanish. That's because you refused Father's proposal. It doesn't help that Riddy has the stereotypical Gaijin look, or Gaijin Western look of very white skin and blonde. Negotiating with Neo Zeon, taking me as hostage, the fighting would never end. More to the point, I didn't come to Earth to play the role of hostage. Then what do you propose we do now, Minerva Leo Sabi? Your you in that role was the only way to counterbalance our numerical inferiority. Inferiority. Wanted to see a will, not a way. You have shown me you have the will, and in my in my own way, I'll cooperate. <clears throat> but you ignored Father in the Federation. You said they'd force cooperate. You commit suicide, like putting your life as a shield. And the results of that and this house arrest were both unavoidable. Audrey, what? Consider cutting your ties, all your ties, to both the Zabi and the Marcinus families. Run off with me to somewhere where no one else will find us. Are you serious? Minerva, please. Thank you for everything you've done, Ensign Riddy. But the truth is, I despise you. Please don't say that. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.